Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own supercar using an old Audi estate. Now on this episode we're going to continue working with the new donor car which is an Audi A6 2.7T and we will continue with the strip down of the dashboard components. Now in the last episode I removed the centre console and the dashboard. Now I try to show every detail for those of you who are watching and want to know every detail and I did try and removing the dashboard without removing the steering column because I wanted to do a separate video on that. Unfortunately I had to drop it down to get the dashboard out and then put it back up so I could record this episode for you. Anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by removing the steering column. There are two screws underneath the plastic bezel inside there and then there's a set of screws inside there and there's one there. So I'm going to begin by undoing those. There's two more screws in there. Okay, with the bezel removed, we can now unplug some of this wiring. Right, with the stalks removed and all the wiring disconnected, I can reach in and undo the bolt that holds the steering column to the steering rack. Which is that bolt there. That's a 13. 
I think that's a 15. Okay, let's go get 15. Right, it's one of these. Can't see a thing. No, 16. I don't know, think I've got a 16. Ugh. 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 Yeah, I think I've got a 16. Finally, it's out. Whew. There are four Allen bolts. One there, one there, and two on the opposite side. There it is. So we just undo those four, and this steering column should come out. Right, with the steering column removed, I think it's time we remove the air conditioning unit and blower unit. I'm going to remove this side bracket here first. There's two bolts at the bottom. These are M10. This is 13 mil. And these are M10. There's a bolt that just slides out here. So whatever you do, make sure you don't lose it. To get to the other bracket on the other side is a little bit more tricky. There's two 8mm bolts down the bottom, here, and it looks like there's two 10mm bolts at the top, here and here. But before I undo those, I'm going to cut this tie wrap inside here so I can get this loom out of the way. This bracket here is welded to this. So, I can't unbolt that.
there's one more bolt just in there, so that'll have to be undone as well. Okay, this is becoming a little bit of a pain. This bracket doesn't seem to want to come out. Um, there's a whole load of plastic clips or whatever down here which I can't quite get to. So it's possible that this aircon unit comes out with this upper metal brace bar here. So I think what I'll do is undo this and I don't know give it a tug see what comes loose the pedal assembly is bolted to the dashboard brace bar here so I better just undo this there are two nuts here just going to undo these and there's one on the other side. There's a nut right inside there, so I'll have to undo that. I think I'm going to remove the fuse box, put it out of the way. Found another hidden bolt. It's just there. So I'm going to try and undo that. <laughs> Don't know how. I can't even get my hand in there. Right, that side bracket is now removed, and that was a pain. So I'll just cut these tie wraps here, and here, and get this loom out of the way, and see if we can get this aircon unit out. There's another bolt inside here, so I think I'll undo that one. And unplug all these connectors, label them all up. We'll see if this blower unit will come out.
Nope. Doesn't want to come out. No, it doesn't want to come out. So, I'm going to have a change of plans. Uh, I'm going to leave the blower unit there for now because it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to try and remove this uh, metal bracket first. And it seems that the wiring loom in here is snagging it, um, which doesn't make any sense. So, I think I'll have to start um, undoing the fuse box and all this which I wanted to do in a different um, episode, really. I'm trying to do this in some sort of order, if that makes sense. You know, I thought, you know, do the steering column, and then I'll do the blower unit, and then I'll do the metal framework here, and then I'll take the fuse box out. You know, nice and neat in an orderly fashion. But no, this is an Audi, and I don't think Audis are built that way. You've got to take the whole thing apart. Anyway, here we go. Let's undo some of the fuse box nonsense here. Right, this is getting out of hand. This sort of rat's nest of wiring is stopping this metal frame from being removed from the car, which is stopping me removing the blower unit. This is a nightmare. Oh my God. Okay, this episode is not going as planned. Um, all I wanted to really get done in this episode was remove the blower unit and this steel frame that supports the dashboard. You know, nice easy sort of uh, episode and detail all the nuts and bolts and screws for you. It's not turned out like that. This is a nightmare and I'm getting in way deeper than I planned for this episode and I'm not going to be able to film it all for you. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to call this one an episode. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to have a tidy up, get reorganised and then try and plan the next episode for you and do it a little bit more uh, in depth. You know, I want to show you the fuse box and the wiring and all this. You know, I don't want to just rip it all apart. I mean, this is, this is crazy. I mean, can you imagine if you own one of these cars, this Audi A6, and your heater matrix develops a leak? It's going to write your car off. You can see the amount of effort that's needed just to get to your heater matrix. Wow, okay, well, I'm getting flustered, <laughs> as you could probably tell. <laughs> My back's killing me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call this one an episode, I'm going to have a tidy up, and then I'm going to have myself a baking butty and a cup of tea, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>